Hello Libra and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach and I've got an intuitive and spiritual message for you today about your journey and about your path. So let's get started. We have the first card, which is the theme of the week, but also the energy that the universe sends you. And we have the 10 of wands. Okay, the Ten of Wands asks us to acknowledge our past burdens and to, it's almost like embrace them in a way that you're thanking them or really being thankful for what they taught you, thankful for the ways that they helped you grow. It's a really kind of funny energy coming through <laughs> right now because it's almost like you need to acknowledge what you've been through, where you've had to suffer, where you've really been challenged. Because what's happening is we're starting to go to a place of higher ground. We're starting to go to a place of more stability where there's not going to be maybe so many challenges and so many hard challenges. We're still going to grow. We're still going to be challenged to to change and to evolve. But for now, this kind of steep learning curve you've been on is going to stabilize. So this card is asking us to be thankful for our burdens, which sounds wrong, but thankful for what they've taught us, thankful for the ways we've grown. Okay, let's get an energy read for you, an energy card for you. We have the lovely... Ace of Pentacles, one of my favorite cards. And we continue the theme of the rocks. You see how he's walking onto rocks and then the bear walks out of the rocks? So rocks are stability and they are, they're just rock, <laughs> rock foundation. Um, I was thinking, I'm thinking Capricorn because Capricorn is often associated with the stone element of nature. So we're getting to this place of stability. You're feeling that awakening. You're feeling that new direction forward. You may be even doing this in a practical way, starting a new business, starting a new venture, starting a new relationship, something that you can tangibly feel. You're feeling the start. However, the universe is saying to you, okay, let's also acknowledge the path because these are kind of happening at the same time. The stable ground is coming to you just as you're starting this. And so it's important not to shoot forward too fast because we really want the ground underneath you to be very, very stable. All right, let's keep going with your message. And as I'm drawing your next cards, I would love to encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much for continuing to be a part of this community, which keeps growing and evolving just as you are. So interesting set of cards here. Very powerful energies coming off of them, Libra. Queen of Cups, the world, and the wheel. Okay, we are in the emotional landscape. We are out of the physical world right now. We are looking on the inside. This card here is also asking you to acknowledge the emotional support that you've gotten on your journey. The um, the people that have been there for you, especially the feminine energy figures, doesn't have to be a male, um, but the feminine energy that has supported you, the unconditional love, the support, the times when you were very upset and someone just got you, someone was able to understand what you were saying, what you were going through, and they were able to nourish you. Looking at how it has supported you achieving this goal of yours, which is you know, to get to that next stage, that person's support has been so necessary, so fundamental, or it could be more than one person. Their support has been fundamental to you achieving what it is that you need to achieve. And by acknowledging it, you're acknowledging that we're connected in a bigger way than just you and your personal journey. You see, this is the world card. It's an individual, but it touches the whole world. When you understand that your journey of growth 
was also supporting another person's energy of journey of growth because they were supporting you it creates a different way of understanding the energy flow of understanding how all of our energies work together so by being that support for you this person was also growing so it wasn't just about you getting to a, a different place it's that when one person gets to a better place a lot of people who are connected with that person also are changed and transformed with that and it's kind of like well what's the point of you telling me this you know this is this seems like more of a retrospective reading where we're looking back rather than a future perspective <laughs> that's not even a word it is now the reason is the tides will turn the tides are going to change the wheel you are going to find yourself in that other side now you're going to have to be in the supportive role now you're going to have to be the one growing through loving and supporting and being there for another person your journey at the moment had been solo it seemed solo all of these cards are solo 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 not connected to to really anything outside of them but these cards are all about connection you see how she's connected to the water through her feet this one is connected just in in the sense of being whole and connected to the world and this one is touching this wheel which represents the seasons turning or times changing things coming full circle so this is also the idea of, of a karmic repayment because someone was there for you you're going to have to be there for someone else it may not be being there for this person but you're going to show up in the same way that that person showed up for you and that continues your journey but it's a more interconnected journey. It's not a solo flight anymore. You're flying in tandem with lots of other people. Oh, Libra, this is really lovely reading. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your energy and your time with me. If you are looking for some more insights or for some more personal guidance, please check out soulguidancewithadriana.com. There's a lot of great offerings that are tailored to your growth and for you to grow at your own rate in your own time. So if that's interesting to you, please check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Have an awesome and fantastic rest of your day.